Hello and welcome to Shop Rambles, where I am Shop and I tend to ramble. About what? Anything and everything. And we have a new thing that has come in here that I'll be doing on the side, and that is... Postmates! Uh, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and open this up. We'll do a little unbagging here. Yeah, uh, maybe. <laughs> Where's, I guess, we're gonna do this the old fashioned way. I was looking for my scissors, but. Let's see what's in this bag. Oh, well that's a newer bag than what I've seen other people carry. Interesting. Okay. Nothing else in that bag here. So we have a little manual thing in here. Aha! Okay, the card is in here, good. Hey, Postmate, let's do this thing. And then there is the activate card. So, here. I won't show you the card, but I'll show you this, all right? That's a sample of what the card looks like. It's a black card. And this nifty bag. I like it. I, li I like the black and the yellow. I got a cool bag compared to uh, some of the other ones that people have made. And it's got this nifty little zebra uh, thing on the side here. <laughs> So, yeah, look at that. Wow, that's kind of cool. Um, but as far as inside, oh, this does not have, oh, yes, it does. Okay, so this looks, it's designed just like the Postmates one, except this is partier. <laughs> it's a party. But it also has the plastic uh, thing that you can set on the bottom to flatten that out. And, well, that's it about that. So, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do the DoorDash and the Postmates? Well, with the DoorDash, what I tend to do is schedule myself uh, for shifts. And then, just it, depending upon if I have access to our car, we only got one. Uh, and then sometimes, when I do some adjusting, I, there are some things I can't do in between, like, um, I, like I could wait until something opens up and see if I can do a dash now. Uh, but what my thought was, was doing some Postmates uh, in between some of the dashing. Now, I can't do this during the week. I have a regular job. Uh, so this is mainly on the weekends. So uh, my weekends are going to be taken up uh, doing a whole lot of uh, dashing and Postmating. <laughs> to try to bring in the extra money that we need to take care of projects and for me to set aside money for investing. Uh, because, uh, hey, uh, this is not really about investing, but just on a note, when you set money aside, you want your money to do something, right? Yeah, you could put it into a savings account and you might get like, I don't know, five, I don't know, even 5%? I don't know. What is it? Around 2 or 3% for uh, a year to have your money? and say It's like very small. Very small. Uh, why do that? Uh, when you can put your money into stocks. Now you may be saying, well, what if the stock market goes down? Well, that's why you buy a put option. Buy a put option on the market itself. Buy it out, I don't know, about six six months. And if the market falls... Well, then you can collect the money off of that put to help make up for the loss of your stocks. And just because some of the stocks may lose value does not necessarily mean that you need to sell them. Uh, as a matter of fact, it might be a good idea to add to your portfolio when that price drops. And if you're investing in the right companies, and those are the ones that have high dividends, 
Uh, the ones that I'm looking at are Apple and McDonald's, Walmart, AT&T. Yeah, those four. And then also the S&P ETF. Those have great dividends. And if you're building up your portfolio, maybe just a little bit at a time, uh, whether the price is small or big, uh, the idea is just building up your portfolio. You get like 100 shares of, let's say, Apple, for example. And when those dividends come out um, every quarter, it's like 80 cents a, 80 cents a share. Uh, multiply that by 100, that's $80. So every quarter, you're getting $80 for free. For free. How about that? You do it on the S&P, that's like, what, a dollar thirty or 40 right now? That's an extra 140 bucks. Dang, that's pretty good. Now, it's gonna probably going to take you a little bit to get 100 shares. But that's why you just start now. And just slowly build it up. Uh, maybe get one stock, one or two stocks a month. You know, you could do that. But um, yeah, this is not really about that. It's just about Postmates um, and what I'm going to be doing. So, well, I mean, that's all I got. I will uh, report back in regards to you know how much money I'm making with Postmates. Um, and then expect uh, to see a video uh, soon about how much money I've been doing on the dashing. Uh, I wanted to get a full week's worth of data uh, so that way I can report back. And this is just simple stuff. I'm not trying to make so much an hour. Uh, uh, I'd like to try to make maybe at least 100 a day. But that just depends upon the evening and what I'm doing. So, but like I said, I'll be doing a follow-up video on that. And since I, I don't know, I might want a little bit more time with the Postmates. I haven't decided yet. So that's just kind of an in-between thing. But I'm going to play that one by ear and I will get back with you about that. But that's it. Um... Thanks uh, very much for watching this uh, really short rambling video. And I hope you'll check out the other uh, videos that I have on this series because I do a lot of different, I talk about a lot of different things. Some of them personal, some are news based. And yeah, just anything that I happen to come across uh, that I think might be interesting. So I will. See you later. Have a good one, and I'll see you on the next rambling video.